This video demonstrates the time savings, compliance benefits, and usability that Lemur brings to mobile asset management users. Lemur is a mapping component that unifies the information in your asset management system with essential location information and asset information from your corporate GIS. It can be inserted into any mobile EAM app from commercial vendors to in-house bespoke solutions. Lemur is available pre-integrated to Innovaptive M Work Order and SAP Work Manager, and Critigen is rapidly adding new application OEM partners. This approach minimizes retraining and allows you to use best of read mobile EAM tools and get the benefits of a map-centric interface. I am demonstrating Lemur on a Windows tablet without a host application today. iOS is also available and additional platforms are on the way. I'll demonstrate two mobile work management scenarios and how Lemur simplifies the workflow and improves the accuracy of the information entered. Here I'm looking at the Lemur mapping component. This would normally be embedded inside an existing host application that facilitates work management for mobile work management users, but today I'm showing it without to demonstrate its overall capabilities. I have preloaded an electric distribution data set from Fort Pierce, Florida. There's data from the EAM and work management system. Those are shown at the top as work orders, notifications, functional locations, equipment, and operations. Below those are table of contents entries to allow a user to turn on and off the GIS data for that electric distribution system. Right now they're all on but are not showing because of the scale dependencies. The first scenario I'll demonstrate is an inspection scenario where an operation has been created to inspect insulators on a pole and I need to go complete that inspection. I'll turn on the operations and look for the one next to my blue dot. When I zoom in, I'll see the asset information from the GIS begin to appear. When I tap on the operation, I'll see all the objects there. There's a work order here, equipment, an operation, this one for pole cross arm replacement is not the one I'm looking for. And as I continue to swipe through them, I find the insulators inspection operation. This is the one that I'm looking for. Before I begin my inspection, I'll take a look at the other assets and the details of those assets that are here at this location. As I swipe through, I see details of the pole that I'm looking at. It's manufacturer, arrestor, grounds, any information that's present in the GIS will show up here. I look at the overhead secondaries connected. Here's one at operating voltage of 60, another at 10, and another at 10. There are various conductor and service type orientations as well. I'll return to the operation and now that I've uh, completed my survey of the information of what's connected here, I can complete my inspection and click enter time to log my inspection. I'll enter the information about my inspection. When I've completed enough information according to the validation rules, the checkbox turns green and I click submit. When I do, that information is passed to the host application and recorded appropriately. The second scenario is to release a work order that's been created. Again, I zoom to my blue dot. And as I tap on the work order, I again see the info panel. Before I'm ready to release the work order, I'm going to look at, again at the other assets here to make sure that everything's in order before we release it for work to be performed. This time, instead of swiping through, I'll use the drop down. It shows that there is a work order, equipment, an operation, and a transformer bank at this location. I'm going to inspect the transformer bank. And here is the information that's provided through the GIS. I'll return now to the work order, having satisfied myself that everything's in order for this work to begin. 
I could view the work order and that would, might show me the details of the work order in the host applications tabular screens. Or I can look at secondary options that are available and here we find the release option. Since I'm ready to release it, I'll click release and it would send the command to the host application to release the work order according to the logic that has been already developed in the host application. This prevents any redundancy or conflicts. As you can see, Lemur provides a very intuitive and map-centric way to navigate to the information that's needed, obtain relevant information from adjacent assets, and complete work in a quick and accurate way. For more information about Lemur, please contact Critigen.